art played a very important life for me, uh, for important um, role for me in my life, for me to get through. Um, not necessarily to be an artist. Um, it, it just it helped me get through the day, stay in school, stay focused. And I see myself in the youth in Harlem. That's where we started our first branch in West Harlem, and we still have a branch there. Um, and of the thousands of kids in New York City that need a, a place where they can be themselves, where they can have an outlet for their expression. We're going to put these on like this when you guys are done. You guys all have your own little plate, okay? What the difference between communities that we serve, the underserved communities traditionally, and the communities, let's say, in Midtown Manhattan or in Park Slope, is that if they don't have arts funding in their public schools, the parents just put them, give them another after school option, be it the YMCA or the 92nd Y, where they can go for paid programs and enroll. But that option is not available to an overwhelmingly large number of communities in, in, New, York, in New York, particularly immigrant communities, communities of African American, Latino background, and uh, you know, and 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 what what do they do? They go to libraries. Raise your hand if you know where the play comes from. What? How about you? By making it, some people do mixed play. We we believe our budgets reflect our priorities and our values. So if this is no money, it means they don't value arts. It's simply it's exactly what that means. What is the purpose of arts? Why is why are they saying? Oh, we want to focus more on science and tech now. Um, and less on everything else, the assumption is there was support for the arts. There was never support for the arts in the last 30 years. So the sole transition, you can't take away something you never gave. So that's the, uh, that's the problem here. It's a real tragedy. Well, it's been ongoing for so long now, um, uh, 30 years, really. Um, that's one of the reasons we decided to start it is because we said, you know what, we can't, they should be put back in schools, but it is such a political issue. A child from lower socioeconomic background, if they have access to arts, continual access to the arts, there's five times less chance they will drop out of high school. Now that is humongous. When you think of what that actually means for United States, especially at the cost, because arts education is very inexpensive, and it's you're not asking for all day arts. Just two hours a week is sufficient, and. Uh, if a child does not graduate from high school, they, they cut, them, cut themselves out from 90% of jobs in the United States. And there's also a very high chance that they would, if it's a dropout, they would end up in prison. It's important and essential for a child's development to have something like this. Arts helps them become better in all aspects of their life which is why I believe just a little bit of investment in art would, would make a tremendous impact in all areas of their life and for the for society in general. A child having access to the arts, there's three times more likely chance they will be elected to class office, so that's leadership skills. There's three times more chance they would be interested in volunteering in their communities, so we have socially conscientious individuals. There's three times more chance it would be better in their academics across the board. So science, English, math, uh, three times better chance they would be reading more, 74% um, chance, a higher chance they will apply to college, a significant percentage that they will stay in school and graduate on time. We want to connect with them with whoever they're supposed to be and so that is education reform also because that's not, I mean again, we do it through the arts because arts is the easiest way to really just think beyond the boundaries and out of the lines and out of the box. So why not invest in the arts, invest in a smart way and help kids graduate, motivate them to go to college. There's a 74% higher chance a child who has arts education will apply, plan to apply to college. And that's humongous when you think about it. That's a huge number.